I always say like when people do my makeup, I'm like, I'm so sorry, I'm not fun at all. I like as little makeup as possible, like minimal, minimal, minimal. I've participated in several unfortunate beauty and fashion trends. There's just this one outfit that comes to mind. Please don't pull it up and put it in the V-roll. Oh, it really haunts me. I literally tried to go to events for like a year after just to like fill my Getty account so that you wouldn't see that outfit. <laughs> because it was so embarrassing. Now I just don't like to even curl my lashes. I think that's my journey of self-acceptance. I really just keep it so simple. I wear these gala pants from the row every day. I have 50 other pants, couldn't care less. I love a white tee and a black trouser. You can't go wrong, a comfy shoe. If I don't have to wear a heel, I'm not going to. I was actually an environmental studies minor at my brief stint in college. Rewatching An Inconvenient Truth as an adult freaked me out, and I found that Vice President Gore has this uh, nonprofit called Climate Reality, and he was doing a training in Los Angeles serendipitously that same month. So I signed up. He's so engaging, and I was just like, I'm going to work with him. And now I'm on the board of Climate Reality with Vice President Gore, and I'm very proud of that, and I'm proud of the work that we do. There's room for all of us to do our part. We all have a really unique skill set that we can lend to this. And so that's kind of how Future Earth came to fruition because we were like, well, let's just create something. Like, we need to share this information with our friends. So let's do it ourselves. And it's so inspiring to see the shift. There's so many more sustainable options. You know, we're seeing these brands really have sustainability at their core values. We should support those brands. We really can advocate for change with our dollar. You know, buy smarter, consume less. I'm a big Thanksgiving person. My mom used to throw these huge dessert parties at our house in Ohio, and she would make like 15 homemade desserts, so I'm trying to start that tradition now. If I'm doing something for holiday, that's when I'll definitely like bust out a little bit more color, so I love a holiday red lip. You know what I always used to do when I would put a red lip on? You know, you stick your finger in your mouth to make sure you don't have any red on your teeth, and I swear Oprah taught it to me. Thanks for spending the day on set with me and Merritt. It's a wrap on my holiday look, but I'll be wearing this red lip all season long.